coming up on this special Halloween edition of ICN. More information on the cancellation of Paint the Campus Blue. A look at why the voting booths are empty this November. We'll tell you what the most popular costume this Halloween is. Plus, Isothermal received the largest check in the college's history. But first, this open produced by BBT student Anya White. us for today's spooky ICN. I'm Peyton Mitchell, a bottle of sriracha sauce. And I'm Jason Paredes. I'm a hot dog. And today's top story. The Paint the Campus Blue event was canceled to ensure the safety of students and faculty. I had interviewed the uh, suspect and um, uh, believed that, uh, that it was uh, that indeed the, the person uh, was identified. And so uh, we're anticipating charges from the district attorney's office. Nursing students will be returning to campus soon. The building will be located around the administration building and library. We've done the pre-planning on it uh, in the past year and uh, it puts it at about a 62,000 uh, square foot building. It's going to be down in, in this area behind the parking lot of the uh, admin building and uh, reach down uh, to, to that parking lot. This area is going to uh, kind of have a, a entry plaza and uh, modified parking. Uh, there's going to be uh, some uh, space uh, uh, between the library and, uh, and, and where the building starts. A check presentation ceremony took place celebrating the finalized plans on Friday. School leaders were present along with Speaker Tim Moore, Senator Tim Moffitt, and Representative Jake Johnson, who signed and presented the check on the site where the facility will be constructed. So in this year's budget, we were really proud to be able to support Isothermal Community College and this $30 million direct appropriation to build this new health education building is going to do a lot, not just for Isothermal Community College, but for this entire region. Uh, we know there's a shortage of nurses, a shortage of so many in health care, and this is a significant appropriation. This may be the largest appropriation in the history of the community college. Is that correct? Yes, here? indeed. The plan completion date is expected to be 2025. WNCW Fall Fundraiser just finished. As a non-commercial radio station, their budget depends on the contributions from loyal listeners. Uh, the night that the fund drive ended on that Saturday <clears throat> evening, we were right at $244,000, and as of today, we have now gone just beyond $250,000. You may be used to seeing elections and campaigning signs during this time of year, but that has changed, uh, changed due to the Senate Bill 265. The bill will extend the terms from two to four years. Voting will occur during even years only starting in 2024. This will make terms longer for local current officials. This is a statewide law that will affect Rutherford and Polk counties. If you live in Polk County, the Super Bowl of kayaking is taking place on November 4th. Over 170 of the world's best kayakers will compete in the green race. The event is the largest extreme kayak race in the world. The iconic race will draw roughly 2,000 spectators and takes approximately 1.5 miles from the Green River Cove Road. I'm ready for Halloween, but I'm not sure you are. Hey, I'm more excited about Halloween than you are. Gosh. Forest City held its annual Trick or Treat on Main Street on October 27th from 4 to 6 p.m. in the town of Forest City. It had a variety of games, kids out trick or treating, and even a DJ. Don't worry if you missed it. You have plenty of chances coming up on Halloween. You got a chunk or treat at Spendale United Methodist Church at 6 p.m., a, a costume contest here at Isothermal at 11 a.m., and another annual trick or treat on Main Street in Rutherford 10 from 4 to 6 p.m. If you have plans to trick or treat on Halloween, you might be curious about what the most popular costumes are this year. These people are building a lot of accessories, looking for couples' costumes, whether it's sailors, police. Um, military people, things like that. Kids are always, uh, you know, have a superhero set in mind when they show up and then see all the other costumes and change. We thought Ninja Turtles would be a big one, but it's not been that big. Uh, Texas Chainsaw stuff, um, anything Scream, the ghost face always does really well. Those seem to be the most popular things this year. Keeping in the spooky spirit, we took our cameras around campus to find out what students are planning for their Halloween costumes. 
What am I gonna be for Halloween? I'm gonna be the Witcher. I'm gonna be an angel for Halloween with a guy from band that's gonna come as a devil. I'm gonna be a slice of bacon. For Halloween, I'm going to be just a generic killer with like um, an apron, a knife, and like a silver mask I got at Walmart. I'm gonna be Perry the Platypus for Halloween. I'm gonna be a perjury for Halloween. This year, I have to work on Halloween, so I'm gonna dress up as a banana, and every time somebody orders a banana shake, I'm gonna stare at them and make them very uncomfortable. That's all we have for you today. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to follow us on Campus Connection on Facebook and our YouTube channel, Isothermal TV. Stay safe out this Halloween. Watch out for the creeps and ghouls. But most, most importantly, importantly, stay classy. classy.